Hello everyone and welcome to Quality Old Games. Today we are having part 12 of our Deathless campaign in Rome Total War. And um, I think that this might actually be, if we are lucky, the last episode, or if we are unlucky, the second last episode. So practically we need to take four more settlements, two from Spain and two from Scipii, and at the same time not to lose any settlements to them. So we are pretty close to closing the campaign. Because those two Scipia settlements are besieged, even though I doubt that we can actually take Capua straight away, but it's seized nonetheless. Here I would really like if we are able to hit those bodyguards, because they are kind of the make it or break it unit in this battle. Okay, good. Some hits there. And even those round shield cavalries can be rather annoying, but luckily they will go down quite fast when they start to take damage. So basically those two damaged round shield cavalry units and oh well that knocking down of the wall was rather nice. I didn't actually know that when the wall falls, wooden wall that is, it will uh, take care of some of the enemies next to it. Oh there is still Iberian infantry as well. Well, so much for that cavalry. Elephant. Okay, they are still coming. Could we entice, for instance, that Iberian... Oh, there is still one fresh unit of cavalry. Could we entice that um, cavalry unit to come here? Apparently not. But this is actually the place where we want to position our elephants, so let's knock down the wall here and then go in. Okay, so good. Let's hope they will come again. That almost was the case. And let's pull the elephants a bit there so the tower doesn't take them down. Okay, so I think we will start with this one. Help! 
and some arrows must be conserved for the bodyguard. You guys can stop firing. Okay, and they are coming. And they are going. That was actually rather useful. And the Iberian infantry is coming as well. Okay, so I guess we can take the next position over here. Okay, so basically it's now the Bodyguard only. Take a bit of a beating, and you should not have your backside on the enemy there. Hey, the gods. The enemy general and that's it. He sacrificed himself oh, that should be it. And Victory. I guess, yeah. Nice. Glorious victory. This One less is ours. Spanish city to worry about. At the same time, I would like to worry even less about Forward. that settlement. And Forward. to do that. We should improve the public order in some way. So perhaps we need to send in... ...a guard force. Um, did I save after the battle? Or rather, garrisoning force. So Kapu is besieged. Caralis should fall and our elephants are marching towards hopefully usefulness. Okay, I think I did save so we have a turn. And what we wanted to happen is kind of happening now. Um, 
Okay, let's hope that we don't actually pull back to the plagued city. On my orders! General! Units! The enemy have brought up more men! Send them to the afterlife! Okay, so the Romans are pulling back towards the rest of their army, probably. take down those velites with the missiles at the very least. Kind of dangerous you meet two elephants. really like those Romans having that many missile units. Okay, let's try to smash At least we will see where we will actually pull back. Run for your life. 
and it's going to be to the settlement. Okay. Um, basically, that need means that in order to actually win the campaign, or rather this battle a bit faster, we should try some alternative tactics. For instance, trying to take on the armies like this. So the reinforcements will come from the left, or rather from the right. Where is the settlement? Hmm. Not showing there. But I think somewhere around there. So we could try to wipe that army out first. Because it's disoriented and there are several ballistae. Whoops. Okay. Well. Hmm. So that's from the corner then. And of course if this does not work we need to actually pull back a bit. have arrived in battle! Elephant. Elephant. Well, actually, I don't think this positioning is quite optimal, but should be decent enough. back. Enemy cowards run! Drive them from the battlefield! Okay, well, that was rather nice. And now the question is... 
Is that army actually pulling back as well? That would seem to be the case. So, how was it in Latin? Fortune... F uh, well, you can say also Latin, fortune favors the bold. Some luck, this will be the defeat from which the Skippy Eye will not recover. The enemy flee! Chase them from the field and give them no rest or pity! Nice. Really nice. Glorious victory. And um Orders. Prepare for battle. Besieging settlement sir. Yeah. So we can actually lay seats of Capua once again and I think they will be rather hard pressed. To peek out of that city at the moment. Um, perhaps we could actually bring some troops from Numancia, however it's pronounced, to help in defense of Scalabis. But of course, quite a lot of depends on what that enemy army might be doing. Okay, I guess... Yeah, that money could make the difference here. Oh, only 60%. Sire, okay. Mm. Because now the question is, will this army actually come this way or will it attack Numancia? But we will find out soon enough. And perhaps the plague will abate soon enough. Okay, so the Spanish army is actually next to Mancia. And practically it means that we need to go there. Okay, so we have Senat coming here. Let's actually see, or rather, let's not see quite yet, but Carolis is ours. And um, let's build the port. And we perhaps could bring some of the troops. Yeah, we are going to bring some of the troops to the Roman front ASAP. Mm. Let's see. 
So, basically, the idea would be to... Orders. My liege, sire. Make the charge here Orders. with Prepare this one battle. unit. Settlement under siege, sir. And see what battle. will happen when we pull back. And of course we need to be wary of those ballistae or ballistas. Which the Romans do have quite a few here in Capua. Take up your spear! The reinforcements are here! But will they be enough for final victory? That's one ballista down. Okay, very this. Let's keep our distance. Okay. Those guys are starting to fire from there as well. Well, these are important kills. Astati, Velites, Astati, Archers. Okay, one Archer unit down. Prinky piece will go down hopefully rather soon. Of course, the question is, if we smash down the gates, could we take down those ballistae efficiently enough? And the bodyguards are starting to take a bit of beating as well. will rather soon run out of missile units. Let's see if we could provoke them. Oh, let's not provoke quite yet. Have lost the wall. 
Send your troops and take the rest of the settlement! Orders completed, Great Lord! Okay, so basically if we let this stay here we will have inflicted quite heavy damage to the Romans. Then again we have inflicted quite a bit of damage to those bodyguards as well. And of course it would be rather nice to take down those ballistae all together. So the question is should the die be cast? Perhaps we will try at least something. Next, let's move against the Ballistae. Quite brave lads there. direction would be best for the charge. There are quite a lot of those bodyguards actually. Um, let's pull back here. Because it seems they are actually coming to face us. remember what happens if this is the result of the attack. Will I be forced to fully pull back? We'll see soon enough. Okay, 
Okay, so now this will be interesting to see. Retreat. Break okay, the siege. and the moves. result was... Moves, yep, even a bit better than expected. And um, I think we have a turn. Shouldn't actually be rioting here. Mighty General. Okay, so that army Mighty is not General. actually attacking. Um, let's see if we could Attack! snatch. Asturica from them without losing actually Numantia. That might work with some luck. Mighty General. And um, okay, so Tarentum the plague has abated. the Macedon situation. Okay, so they are stable, rather stable there. And thus, I think we don't have to worry about them too much. And if we are unable to gain full victory, let's at least try to inflict some damage here. Today, await my orders. Your elephant units. Units. Principis, Velites, Ballistas. And those Ballistas should actually be the primary target. They have decided to camp in the city center. Hmm. I think some scouting is in order so that we could actually see if there is an avenue. Of attack from which we could fire arrows. And thus provoke attack, so at least inflict some damage. I think the layout of the city is pretty similar to the Prutii city we actually took. So there is this, yeah, that street is our street. I 
and perhaps I should rest them now. And once again, even if we don't manage to take this, but can take down perhaps one or two bodyguards, that would be already something. Then we will just besiege the settlement and wait for the Romans to starve out. And we are going to have those reinforcements as well. Though it's nine turns. Ah, um, perhaps we could find a bit better angle of attack. Basically, Move out. from Prepare here. Let's at least try that out. Velites and perhaps the Prinky piece was nice. War elephant, war elephant. And perhaps they are now pulling towards the Wiggly, city center. Wiggly, the cowardly enemy have lost the wall. Send your troops and take the rest of the settlement. Hmm. And 
and let's have the rest. Let's hope that no one strays this way this time. Once again, we have one who is not following orders. So if we stop firing, will they stop coming? Apparently not. So... Then perhaps... Okay, so best to just fire. lay siege there and then well we have some with some luck the senate there will help us by attacking us but let's see oh well that's no help Except, of course, we managed to take this army down and um, pull back. So they don't have much missile weapons. Hmm, well, this is actually interesting. And I would 
dare to think that the enemy will come actually this way. We're not going to have too much forces. Yeah. The enemy have proved their cowardice. They have reinforcements. As if numbers mattered. Indeed, cowardly enemy. I think the plan is still good, Our army. but perhaps the RNG could be a bit better. Of course, another strategy could be that we just try to fire arrows at them and then we will camp with the rest of the army there and we will pull back when the situation the so requires they have reinforcements as if numbers mattered Some new okay, um, and we took a casualty there. But perhaps this is the better way to approach the battle. Sire. 
go still. I will try that. Let's put three units to the corner and then the rest to somewhere else. That elephant unit on that flank is not the optimal solution. Yeah. Winning. Okay, one final attempt. Then. We are going to give final attempt for the firing arrows tactics and then if that does not work out we will just pull back. And the reason for this is that the price is actually so high. Okay, good. Uh, 
And now the question is what the Senate will do. Let's just make a test into which direction we will pull back. So it will be towards that side, okay. Basically it means that... Let's try to keep the enemy in... Or rather moving. So that they don't actually have a chance to strike at us. not because if the Romans are somewhat indecisive we could actually make them to pull back units have actually already taken some damage, so... Be that corner. Ha! Ha! Run for your That was annoying. So I guess we will just pull back then. Oh. I guess we will pull back a bit further then. Mighty General. Onward. March. There. Engage Let's the lay siege. Retreat! The siege is broken. How the moves, Great Lord. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess we are in for a fight then. And um, My liege. to actually win the battle. My ears are yours. None shall see me. None shall see me. Sire? To hear is to obey. Mighty General! Mighty General! My liege, Mighty General! Move up! Prepare for battle! Beseeching settlement, Okay, let's try this out. Okay, so they actually... Retreat. Okay, good.
Orders? Onward! No more moves, sire. My liege! Onward! Ready to sail! Set sail! Orders? To the ships! Sire, march! Orders? Onward! Hmm. Well, perhaps I should not have done that. So, let's save. Sire! Forward! Merging armies! Sire! March! Ready to sail! Set sail! Orders! Joining the fleet, sire! Mighty general! Orders! My liege, move out! No more moves, sire. And let's save. Okay, now this... This is interesting. Because now they are selling forth. We should have quite decent opportunities to pepper them with arrows and with some luck we might even be able to sneak to the city center and actually take the settlement. So, let's pull the troops together here and these guys can be ready to pull back. They have reinforcements, as if numbers mattered. Okay, good. One enemy general down. Oh, are they actually planning on attacking us straight away? Despair. 
and actually we only need to take down all of the Roman generals. So I guess we just to have to be happy with what casualties we can inflict. Out of moves, great lord. So they have five family members. I guess we will utilize the same tactics we used in the last battle, except in perhaps the Eldest, final moments. Enforcements, as if numbers mattered. Well, that's nice.
The walls are taken! The enemy stands ready to take the town! And how come we cannot fire at them? Well, apparently we cannot. So this will basically mean a draw. And we are more than happy with draw when the enemy is the aggressor. we can inflict on either of the Roman armies will make things easier, especially if they decide to attack again, and especially if we are able to take down some generals like that. Bit annoying battle since we have to wait, but um, still, I think the results are actually worth it, especially if it is considered that we might end up fighting this battle several times. Oh, we have actually full visibility, so they have. Quite a lot of infantry over here. And then there is that ballistas. Mm. Let's see if we could deal some damage to that infantry on the other side of the settlement.
So apparently they are in full defensive mode at the moment. And since we actually cannot decide the battle here, let's make it a bit easier to win the battle in the next round. So... I think we still have at least one gateway there, which we could take down. Okay, next unit. cause some complications if they decide to camp there. Yeah. Of course we could bring these units on the other side. Well, perhaps we have enough time. Let's do that. Oh, by the way, yeah, I knocked down one section of the wall there. Mm, depending on how the Romans play this, the next turn might actually be the last turn. In any case, I think... Um, We have managed to kind of win this battle because draw in this kind of situation is a victory. At least in my opinion. some sh farewell shots to the Prinky Beast. And how un annoying would it have been if that tower would have taken down one of our war elephants? Okay, so, apparently... Four family members and a ballista. Ships ready. Uh, let's try to take us to Rika. First, some Scutari Warhounds Round Shield Cavalry shouldn't be too difficult. No gate. 
What about here? Yeah. Taking down those war dogs or war hounds will be quite nice. Good. Scutari have some pointy things which I don't appreciate. Oh, what's this? That tower there actually getting some shots off apparently. So let's give these guys a bit of time to rest. So, actually, I'm not sure if I have stated the goals in this short campaign. We should control 15 settlements and wipe out Scipii and Spain. And practically both of those two factions are in their last rows and we have over 15 settlements. Thus, the situation is looking rather decent at the moment. Well, good. The situation is looking good at the moment. How nice of them not to charge, but stand in missile fire. of the day. Now we will see the measure of his soldiers' courage. Excellent. Victory. And that's it for Spain. the Skippy I are left and um, I think the best course of action would be to entice those guys into battle Because we are going to have a rather decent amount of reinforcements rather soon. But, um. Okay. So. The Skippy I are all along there. That's quite persistent plague, to be honest. So we have everything we need. Now we just have to wait. Let's keep the eye out. Parthians. Hmm. Okay. 
And let's see, by the way, how the Macedonians are doing. Okay. So they have kind of evened out in territory. Sire! Sire! Engage the enemy! Besieging settlement, sir! Settlement under siege, sir! I should check how that how the public order is doing in the empire because those casualties from riots are to be avoided even though they don't count as failure in the campaign but it's nice nice set to not to have riots here and perhaps a temple here would be good as well. Oh, so no more plague. Nice. Mm, that's not nice. So, the enemy is coming a bit from, from the left rear. And what we need to do is to wipe out the Skippy and then we can pull back and we have the victory. So, I would venture to guess that they will come out somewhere around here and that's quite a lot of elephants by the way oh there okay let's move to engage perhaps I should have been able to deduce it from the location of the city. Okay, so let's take that one again. That's now that we know from where they will come. Those Kipiai, that is. 
we will be ready for them. And after dealing with them, we will pull back. Fair enough. Retreat. And did we go to Tarrant? All that way. Mighty General. Prepare for battle. I should have saved. This many units is getting a bit difficult to control in this dance. Be interesting to see how much casualties the Senate is willing to suffer before they are starting to pull back. J 
general is the perfect enemy. He does not stand, but runs away. Is there any point in killing him? Indeed. If he could whittle down those triary a bit more, I would be a bit more confident in our position. them back a bit, or rather we get a bit more a wiggle room. But are they actually really willing to fight practically to death? Because they have lost almost half of their men already. Be nice to have some indication of the morale of these Brinkby units. Basically, we are going to turn around about in here. Okay. At the Units, that way. And then we just wait for a while for them to come. And then we will smash through them. Are they now they are pulling back? Fair enough. to intercept I guess we do
perfect. They are running from the battle in terror. I would argue that's rather nice victory. Some experience for the elephants. Destroyed Roman army. Well, not perhaps fully destroyed, but rather close. And I think we can let the rest of the Velites to get away. Yeah, these elephants are not precision weapon. I guess he's too terrified to fight ever against against elephants. Elephants. And that's it. So, not too many got away. This place we could take Rome rather soon as well. Sire, engage the enemy. Glorious victory. Let's try to anticlimactically or the rest of the battle here. What will happen? Okay, won't work out. Whoops. But at least we know that that's going to be the last battle. Sire, prepare for battle. So let's send in the weakest elephants first. And these elite elephants only later. Then again, if we can take down those ballistae. And scorpions. It would be really nice. Okay. Well, they got spooked with a relative ease. Hmm. Guess that's it for the Roman faction leader. And you know what, my friends, I think we are in a couple of minutes away to prove that it really is possible to beat Rome Total War deathless. And of course now that unit gets some kills there.
and let's see if they will allow us to come right next to them. What are you? Ah! This is becoming a horror story. So, one more. Actually, general left. And that's it. That's it. And no one can argue that it is not both well deserved and worthy. Full, I fully agreed on that one. So. That's it. That's the deathless campaign in Rome Total War. I have to say that never, ever has finishing a campaign in Rome Total War felt this good as this one. This is really nice. Of course there are those couple of cases where you can question when there was riots here in Dimidi that what about those attrition and then I'm not sure was it in this attempt or some other where I won a fleet battle, but the ship suffered some casualties. I after that deleted all of those ships, so basically you could argue that no casualties there. Then again you can argue that casualties were suffered, but what is most important is that every land battle went without suffering any casualty. These casualties were, came from plague and um, some other casualties from, I guess, public disorder. And then some of these elephant units actually lost a man while being a general of the unit. But yeah, this has been quite a journey. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to post comments and please leave a thumbs and subscribe to the channel. I'm kind of getting confused in my words because of this victory. But in any case, uh, in the comment field you can let me know, for instance, what other campaigns you would like me to play in Rome Total War or in some other Total War game and so on. Thank you very much for being with me in this journey. Have a great rest of the day. Quality Old Games, out.